Hello and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. We all know common software development methodologies, Waterfall, Agile, Extreme Programming, and others. But what's the role of QA in them? Watch this video to find out. Make sure you stay till the end to learn our QA team's checklist of best practices shared just for you. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. So what is quality assurance? In fact, QA means optimizing the development and testing processes, selecting approaches to minimize the number of errors. And here's a question, are testing and QA the same? Are there any differences between them? Pause the video and write your answers in the comment section. Are you done? Well, although QA and testing constantly cooperate, they are not the same. QA teams define product requirements, set up deliverables, and automate processes. They are not actually looking for bugs. Wondering how the process is organized? Let's review software development methodologies from QA perspective. The first methodology is Waterfall. It is a standard strategy where the project is broken down by stages, and the teams move to the next phase only after the previous one has been finalized. Let's see what position QA holds at different stages of the Waterfall project. Stage 1 is Requirements Gathering and Specification. Here, the Quality Assurance team describes the ideal version of the product. At the design stage, QA keeps the team in check by always prioritizing the code quality. During the coding stage, the QA team oversees the development process, detects architectural issues, and fundamental problems with the development approach. At the next stage, the QA team checks if testing and development processes were done on time, if the promised results were met, and seeks ways for improvement. The last stage is release and support. QA teams analyze feedback from users and seek a long-term way to remove development and testing issues. The second methodology is Agile. It is focused on maintaining a flexible process. Agile Quality Assurance prioritizes a user-driven approach and code quality over the strict organization. The Jelvix QA team values the main advantage of Agile. If the quality requirements change in previous stages, the team can easily come back to it. Let's review the most important aspects of Agile QA. The first is planning. It is crucial to define acceptance criteria right away to find balance between quality and cost efficiency. The next aspect is documentation and communication. It is important to document the processes and task results. Agile approach also values automation. Even if it takes a lot of time at initial stages, Agile welcomes it as it allows achieving better quality in the long run. What also matters is metrics. We won't go into details now. We recommend to check out the guide for our favorite Agile metrics. The link is in the description box. And finally, the most important aspect is continuous improvement. In practice, it means that iterations are always brought to the end users, who provide feedback. Our team members say that QA lies at the core of Agile. The third methodology is iterative testing. This is a mix of Agile and Waterfall. On the other hand, the test methodology takes a flexible approach. On the other hand, the project organization still follows the waterfall logic. Teams check features one by one and release frequent updates to shorten the feedback loop. The stages are the same in waterfall. Once you are done with one stage, you don't come back to it. However, the duration of each stage is a lot smaller than in waterfall. The fourth methodology is extreme programming. It is a combination of agile and iterative development. Although extreme programming is focused on quality, efficiency is even more important. Developers start from building essential functionality and getting it to the working mode. Extreme programming takes agile practices and iterative testing and takes them to the extreme. Among its principles are, all code must have unit tests. XP encourages early and frequent testing. XP demands that all code have associated tests. XP promotes test automation. The team sets refactoring goals along with design and development objectives. Are you ready for our QA best practices? As promised, here's our list of the best tips to follow. The first is clear release criteria. 
Be sure to update them after every published iteration. Fixing is a priority. Schedule days for code cleanup and tech debt removal. Early automation. The earlier you start, the more time and effort you'll save. A dedicated security team. Trust us, you need experts here. Assign responsibilities for performance quality. Have at least several QA experts to oversee speed, scalability, and stability. Short feedback loops. Analyze the work and communicate quickly. Obtain feedback from users. And that's it. Like this video if it was useful. We at Jelvix provide software development, UI UX design, QA, and testing services. You can find the contacts in the description box. On our channel, we deliver only hot insights from the tech industry. So, if you don't want to miss a single video, make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell button. Bye for now.